Hello all, welcome back to another video. It has been a long time since I have posted and this upload will be perfect to end off year 2024. Have a wonderful Christmas guys. Before we begin, I just wanna give a special shout out to this pleasant surprise that I have found today. As some of you may know, YouTube is paying peanuts for the content that I have created over the past years. I have a buy me coffee page which accepts donation and it has been empty ever since I have created it. But today, I have logged in to see that I have finally received my first donation from Mark. So shout out to you Mark. Thanks a lot and I really appreciate it. Now without further ado, let's get started. In this video, I will be sharing an awesome tool written in Golang that I have found on GitHub. This is publicly available and it is called Hookah. Let's give it a try to see if it will bypass the latest Windows Defender with real-time protection and cloud protection enabled. This is written in Golang so you need to have Go installed on your Kali machine. Once that is done, let's git clone the project on our Kali machine and get started. The setup is pretty simple. Git clone the project and type in the command make to compile the Go binaries. The make file will be executed. I am encountering this error because my MacBook is running M1 chip which is ARM architecture. If you are not using ARM-based Kali machine, then you should not be faced with this error. Alright, this works now. Let's try out the default. Puka requires a shellcode file as input minimally. Let's generate that with MSF Venom to get a metapreter shellcode. Great. Now we need to spin up a listener for the metapreter payload. Alright, let's go with the default configuration of Hooka and generate an EXE payload with the shellcode bin file that we have created. Nice. Loader.exe file is generated without any errors. Let's switch over to our Windows machine. Alright, our Windows machine is running the latest Windows Defender with all protections enabled, except automatic submission. Let's try this out first by copying the Mimikatz binary over, which should most definitely trigger a detection from Windows Defender. Yes, as expected. This proves that Windows Defender is indeed working. Now let's copy over our hookah generated loader.exe file. This is looking good. The loader.exe file is able to land on our Windows machine successfully. Now let's execute it. Oh dear, Windows Defender is able to detect it upon execution, don't worry. Let's continue and give it a try. We are encountering this sample submission dialog box because automatic submission is disabled. Let's not send it to Microsoft. Now let's hop over back to Huka. Let's try a non-default Huka configuration by copying the third suggested execution method over here. Let's give this a try. Now let's copy the new loader.exe file over to our Windows machine and execute it. Okay, this is the sample submission dialog again. We can see that there is no detection on Windows Defender itself. This is looking good. Now let's hop over to our Kali machine. Awesome, we got a callback. We have successfully bypassed Windows Defender using a publicly available tool and we are able to establish a functional metapreter reverse shell connection. This is great. Let's hop over to our Windows machine and give it a scan. Awesome, the scan is completed and there is still no detection. Our metapreter shell is still functional too. 
we are just using hookah suggested execution method without really investigating its other features and also we have yet to explore other formats like dll this is awesome i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and found it to be useful all credits to the author of the tool and all the relevant urls will be provided in the video's description so be sure to check it out there is also a free fishing course that is available on udemy that i have created quite some time ago all right guys this is it please stay safe and have a blessed merry christmas i will see you all soon bye